Hey, boys and girls, what's going on? It's your man, Mr. Nathan, and we are here for another uh, virtual story time. I'm so happy to see you this afternoon. It's a, uh, as you can tell, I mean, look, what do, what do I have here? I've got an umbrella. Yep, I heard somebody say it. You know, it's been raining like cats and dogs where I'm at, and I had to go outside, so I had to use my wonderful umbrella here. And you know what? I bet if we were together, I bet you could fit under the umbrella with me. Isn't that so nice? What does an umbrella do? An umbrella keeps us safe, dry from the rain, right? And the wonderful thing is, if you see somebody who doesn't have one, if you know who they are, you can offer them your umbrella to use so they don't get uh, wet as well. So before we get going, let me put this away. There we go. All right. Now I'm so excited to be able to read with you today. It's going to be so fun. And uh, we are going to be reading this book right here. We are going to be reading The Big Umbrella. So give me one second and I'll get it pulled up for us so we can read it together. And as we wait for it to load up here, I want to make sure that you go ahead and give this a big like on Facebook. If you're joining us on Facebook, give us the big thumbs up. And if you have any friends who you think would want to join story time with us and have fun, Make sure and ask them um, to join us by hitting that share button. It really helps the more people we get to join us and have fun with us. So make sure and do that. All right. So here we go. It is up and ready. And let me move myself. I think I got to be like right here. There we go. And now we are going to be reading The Big Umbrella by Amy June Bates, co-written by Juniper Bates. All right. Again, The Big Umbrella. Look, hey, does that look like what it looks like outside of your window today? It definitely looks like what it looks like outside of my window for sure. All right, by the front door. Oh, what is that sitting by the front door? Kind of looks like my umbrella too, right? Do you have an umbrella? All right, let's see what happens. There is an umbrella. Oh goodness, can you do me a favor? I need your help. Can you tell me what colors are in this picture? What color is the umbrella? Oh, you got it. You're super smart. It's red. What about the raincoat that the kid has on? What color is that? Oh, man. Yeah. I knew you guys would be able to help me. It kind of matches the ducks on my shirt, right? It's yellow. All right, we, I see one more color I want to talk about. What color are the gloves and the boots that the kid has on? So we got red, we got yellow, and the other one, we got blue. Yep, you said it, you're so smart. All right, let's look at... Let's look at what's going on. 
it is big. Oh, they made it outside. Look, they're walking around in their neighborhood. It is a big, friendly umbrella. Oh, yeah. Look, what kind of expression does it have on its face? Look, the, the umbrella is happy to be outside and protecting the kid from the rain. It's got a big smile on its face. Is that what you look like when you've got a big smile on your face? Like that? Oh, it likes to help. Yep, it does. Look, it's protecting it from the, the rain falling. It's protecting the kid from the leaves. All right. It likes to spread its arms wide. Yeah, look, what is the kids like dancing in the rain and the umbrella covers the kid as they've got their arms spread wide. So I bet if you were under the umbrella, it would do the same thing for you. It loves to give shelter. Oh, look, the kid found somebody who didn't have an umbrella and look, invited them to come under. So now we've got how many people? How many is that? We've got two people under the umbrella. It loves to gather people in. Oh man, look at that. It got even more people. Let's see, there's some different, and they're all different, right? Look, there's, it looks like there are two different types of people under there that just joined. What does it look like they do? Can you tell? Oh, yeah, it looks like one likes to dance and is a ballerina. Remember the time we read about the, uh, ballerina that was a dinosaur yeah brontarina we've we've read about a ballerina before so we got a ballerina and then it looks like a person who plays some sort of sport is under there as well oh my goodness they're having to look up for this next person It doesn't matter if you are tall. Yeah, because we can't even see what that is. Do you know what that is? Oh, yeah, I hear you. It does look like some sort of bird. Oh, or hairy. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. They've got hair all over the place. Do you have a friend that looks like that? I don't know if I know some people that look like that. They've got hair everywhere. But look at that. The umbrella has room for them all. It just keeps growing. Because look, we see the, the web feet under there with all the other people who have joined the umbrella. It's got room for everyone. Oh, or plaid. Yeah, look, it's got room. They're letting this lady join them. It doesn't matter how many legs you have. Oh, man. What kind of animal is that? Do you know? Yep, you got it. It's a dog. Doesn't that dog look sad? It's like it wants help to get from uh, out from the rain. You think they'll let them in? And look at our umbrella over there. There's so many people. It keeps adding new people every time, even people we don't see. Like it looks like there's a lady who uses a cane. It looks like our 
original kid that left their house with the umbrella. Then there's some new people, the ballerina, the hairy person. I got all kind of people. So do they let the dog in? Some people worry that there won't be enough room under the big umbrella. Oh man, look at that. The people out there, they got a little baby, a little lady with the big dress on, and then you got people that are using a book to cover their heads. Let me ask you this, you think they'll be able to make it under the umbrella? I don't, we'll find out, I bet. And look, there's some new people that are already under there. Did you see the person with the roller skates? And then we got, it looks like we got some little um, chicks down there at the bottom. And it, yeah, see, one's following the dog. So we got animals, we got people, everybody's fitting under the umbrella. You know, but the amazing thing is, oh my goodness, there is, look at that. Oh man, remember the time we read that book about it's okay to be yourself? Look at a person. Remember Mr. Nathan said he used a wheelchair? Look, we got a person that uses a wheelchair under the umbrella. Look at the, the ballerinas jumping. It looks like they even got a road worker that's holding up a, a sign up there at the front. It's like, slow down. And then you see the little girl that's being pushed in the stroller. Looks like there's room for everyone. Oh man, look, the sun's coming out and it cleared a space. Maybe by the end of this, it will finish raining. We'll find out, I'm sure. There is always room. Oh my goodness. Look at all the people. And everybody found safety under the umbrella. They were all protected under the umbrella. And look, there are people that look different. There are people that do different things. Like you see, there's a the construction worker, the road worker, giving a flower to a little girl. There are people riding bikes. There's a grandma and a grandpa. Oh yeah, you got it. There's people having ice cream, but look, they're all different but they're all together. They're doing it all together. They're all part of the same community. Oh my goodness, there's an octopus in there. Look at that. An octopus with the flower. Do you see that? Look at all these things. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the big umbrella. So what did we learn today by reading the big umbrella? We learned that when people need help and they ask for help, that we can give help to somebody in need and that there's always room to hear about somebody else's story. There's always room to be nice. Everybody needs help from the rain. So do you give help to your friends and your family when they need it? Maybe your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, any of the adults in your life, I bet at some point they give you help when you need it, but I bet you give them help when they need it. 
you know, one of the things that the book said was the umbrella would always spread its arms wide. It would always cover everybody. And you know what that made me think of? It made me think of how nice sometimes it can be to give somebody a hug when they need it. But when they ask if they could use a hug, they say, hey, I could really use a hug today. And then the person can be like, oh yeah, I can give you a hug, but it spreads its arms around and gives help when it's needed. So that's one thing that it made me think of. And it made me think no matter who we are and no matter what we look like, whether you're like me and that guy using the wheelchair, or maybe you're like, the little boy and girl getting the ice cream, or maybe it's the grandma and grandpa who are walking away from the ice cream. We all get to do this together. We all get to spend time together. So what do you like to do with your friends and family? Do you have favorite activities? Maybe you like to dance, maybe you like to sing, maybe you like spending time playing board games. What can you do on this rainy day? If you're like where I'm at, I came outside um, from the rain. It's been raining all day. So what are some things that you like to do that you can spend time with the people that you love? Um, well, what we're going to do now is we're going to practice some of that singing, that dancing, and that moving. So, hey, get ready. We're going to have some fun. And you know, you if you've been to story time before, get ready to dance and get ready to move, and I'll do it right along with you. Let me stop sharing this screen, and I'll bring up our song for today, okay? All right, here we go. All right, under the big umbrella. Let me hit full screen here. And are you ready? All right, let's get ready. <laughs>
Under the big, under the big umbrella. Under the big, under the big umbrella. All right, did you like that song? Under the big umbrella. You know what I loved about that song? It said, I am happy, I am loved. And it talked about being ourselves. Because you know what? There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like me. There's nobody like other people in your family, people like your friends. And so, keep being you and I'll keep being me and you know what we'll have fun with each other you know I'm so happy that you were able to join I hope you like the book today and I hope you like the song now I want to give you something that you can do with your adults around and you get to have your own umbrella does that sound exciting all right yeah i'm so excited i can't wait for you to see i've made some stuff for you and you get to make your own so let me uh pull this up and this will be for your adults so they know what you need um let's see i gotta go here and oh no wrong one Okay, hold on one second. I got to share the right thing. All right. There we go. That's what we need. All right. Yeah, here we go. Thanks for being so patient with me as I got it up for us. So you're going to get to make your own big umbrella. Super exciting. So here are a couple things that you're going to need, okay? You're going to need either a paper plate or some construction paper. Oh, I don't know what happened to, to the words here, but that's okay. Um... You're gonna need a popsicle stick or a tongue compressor. So make sure you get a popsicle stick, tongue compressor. Then you're gonna need some tape. You're gonna need some scissors. And then you're gonna need some markers. And uh, if adults, if you want to do this and you need a copy of this, like I said, I don't know what happened to the words on this one, but I've got the sheet for you so you can have all the things you need um, and you can just email me. It's in the comment of the video and I'll be happy to send that to you. But here's what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to show you let me stop sharing so we can get a better view here. I'm going to show you what you're going to do. And let's start. I'm going to show you two options, okay? All right. Look at that. Does that not remind you of our umbrella that we saw in the book today? It's even got rain on it. So, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take the construction paper and you're going to make like a half circle right isn't that what that looks like and then you're going to cut it out 
to look like that and you can you might need your adult's help to get the bottom to look that way you know what sometimes i have a hard time making cuts too because you know my uh my hand doesn't always want to work the way <laughs> that it should so hey if you need help you're not alone i had to get help to do this too so just so you know all right so then you you cut that out okay with the construction paper then you see we have the popsicle stick and yep uh how did we get it on there look at that yep we just took the tape and we put it on there okay so you can do that and then what did we do with the raindrops that's another sheet of uh construction paper and we just cut them out and glued them on okay so there's one option now here's another option okay all right look at that look we did you see the construction paper we did that for the rain just like we did uh for the other one but this one they're not glued on because it's a paper plate we use tape so you can either do it yourself or you can get your adult to help you by putting the tape on there okay and then we just this is a paper plate and you cut the paper plate in half that's what you do all right and then this is a big popsicle stick or a tongue compressor it's like the one that the doctor when it says open wide and it says stick out your tongue ah. <laughs> it's that kind of stick okay that's what you need and then look at that does that not look like the umbrella from our story there yep that's why you need the markers okay you can make your own umbrella and look, mine looks like the one from the story, but I want you to make yours look like what you want it to be, okay? You can make it be whatever. You can use your favorite color. You can put designs on it. You can create it any way that you want because it's your umbrella. And then anytime you want to remember the story, you can pull it out. And you can be like, oh, look, I got my umbrella. All right. So if you make one, we would love to see what you make. Uh, we would love to see your umbrella. I would love to see your umbrella. So if you make one and you want to show it to us, just have your adult go over to our Instagram page and you can share it over there with us or if you want to share it directly, you can send the email to us uh, with the picture. We would be happy to share it as well or happy to look at what you guys create together. Uh, if you want to do it over on Instagram, that's at Berkeley County First Steps. And that's going to be on the activity sheet as well if you need a reminder of where to go. But I hope you had a fun time with me today. I had a fun time with you. It's always fun to see you. It's always fun to spend time together and learn with all the books that we've read. You see in the background, look at all those books. Now we get to add this one to the list. I think I'm going to have to start switching them out. I don't think that they're all going to fit on there anymore. We've read so many books. But remember, you can always reach out and I'm here to support. And if you want a specific book for story time, let me know. We would love to hear from you. So with that, guys, we will see you next month for our next story time. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.